This morning, we're getting a better picture of those four firefighters who were involved in a serious crash early Tuesday morning. Yeah, the crew was heading to a house fire in southeast Fort Worth when that truck overturned onto its side, injuring all four firefighters on board. Our next Starling is outside of JPS Hospital with the latest on their conditions. Two of those firefighters are still here at JPS Hospital, one recovering from a surgery and the other one in critical condition in the ICU. All four firefighters are in the prayers of so many in this community as there's a prayer service last night. Take a listen. How you, Father God, are still in the miracle working business. Yeah. Heads bowed in prayer last night at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church in East Fort Worth, which is about a mile away from the crash site, inviting the community Wednesday to pray for the firefighters. Lead Pastor Jack Crane says the North Texas community is standing behind them. Yes, we're here for you. We're here to pray for you. We're here to encourage you and to say that we're behind you. Meanwhile, the Fort Worth Fire Department releasing the names and pictures of the four men injured in that serious crash. Engineer Matthew Schneider, been with the department for 22 years. He had minor injuries from the crash and is now out of the hospital. The fire department says he was the one driving the fire truck. Firefighter Devin Kuhn has been with the department five years. He was also released from the hospital Tuesday. Clint Robinson, a Fort Worth firefighter for 18 years. The department said he had surgery Wednesday afternoon and is still recovering in the hospital. And Captain Daniel Terrell, an 18-year veteran of the department, currently in intensive care with life-threatening injuries. Back at the crash site at the intersection of Village Creek Road and Wilbarger Street, people who live nearby tell CBS News Texas they often see people running the stop sign and heard and even witnessed the aftermath of the crash Tuesday morning. But it almost sounded almost like an explosion. This is something you, you see on 911 on TV. That's exactly what I thought. This is something you, you would mostly see on, on, on TV. You don't see this normally. Fort Worth Police continues to investigate exactly what happened in this crash. The Fort Worth Fire Department sending us this statement, quote, We could not be more appreciative of how this community has surrounded us with their love and support. We don't have any immediate needs at this time other than asking for your prayers and continued support. Our crews and families definitely feel them. Thank you so much. In Fort Worth, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas.